tonight more protests as Democratic Governor Ralph Northam digs in, despite mounting pressure for him to resign. State lawmakers looking for a way out, taking impeachment off the table. That's a very high standard. Uh, and so I think that's why we have called for the resignation. The governor telling his staff today he needs more time to plan a path forward and doesn't want to be branded as a racist, according to one source. This comes amid further chaos at the Capitol, with new troubles for Northam's would be successor, Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax. After an uncorroborated sexual assault accusation against him emerged, dating back to the Democratic National Convention in 2004. Does anybody think it's any coincidence that on the eve uh, of potentially uh, my being elevated, that that's when this uncorroborated smear comes out? And it's uncorroborated because it's not true. Tonight, the state left with even more questions after Northam originally apologized and switched his story Saturday. But I believe then and now that I am not either of the people in that photo. I was mad as hell. I got to tell you, a lot of folks were saying that they were hurt, they were saddened. I was none of that because I have lived all my life dealing with racism. And so, no, I wasn't hurt. I was angry. And tonight, one voice notably absent amid the calls for Governor Northam to step down. That's a former President Barack Obama. Obama campaigned for Northam, but so far he's maintaining his silence. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.